May I welcome you to the Meadows? I am a docent here. My name is Mary Skank. Today we are going to focus on one painting entitled Portrait of Richard Worsham Mead by Vicente Lopez, 1815. This subject is an America by a Spanish artist. Now, how did this combination of nationalities happen? First, let's discuss the young artist who sketched this gentleman. Because of his obvious talent, Vincente did receive a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Madrid. Now, let's focus on the American from Philadelphia. He followed his father into the import-export business, shipping goods around the Straits of Gibraltar. Richard was appointed as the U.S. naval agent to the southern port city of Cadiz and moved his family to Spain. Now, let's look at the details. What is the first thing you see? It is magnificent rug bunched up at the bottom of the canvas. Then you notice the large volumes which were shoved aside in haste. Why did the artist choose to render it in this crumpled fashion? Of course, to get your attention for his fastidious work. Perhaps Lopez has other motives. May I suggest that all the shades in the floor covering are repeated in the subject's clothing, blending the subject and the furnishings together. Another eye-level embellishment is the sphinx on the tapered leg of the table desk. There are many other detailed objects here, but let us not miss the wrinkled satin vest of the sitter. Perhaps the artist wanted to lead your eye towards the subject's features, which are surrounded by the purest of white. But note, there is little shading on the navy blazer. Lopez did not want to distract your eyes from the focus of the portrait. Now, Mead was extremely successful exporting wool and sherry to the colonies. He also enlarged his fleet, which drew the attention of the King of Spain, Ferdinand VII. In fact, Ferdinand asked Meade to loan him a few ships and a little money in exchange for Spanish citizenship. However, Meade did not accept. The borrowing never ceased. When Napoleon invaded Portugal, and Spain, the monarchy was also fighting the British at sea. Richard Meade was turned into poor Richard. Becoming penniless, Ferdinand threw him in the Castillo. After three years of being jailed, the American consulate negotiated his release. Meade returned to the United States and lobbied the Senate to reimburse him for his Spanish debt of one and a half million dollars. Meade's heirs continued pursuing the debt without success. It has been suggested that this painting has been offered as remuneration, but we will never know. Please do explore other tiny tours. Thanks.